Go-kart. Me and my mate Haribo, we once made a go-kart. Everyone was making go-karts, so we had to make one. Big Tony's was terrific. Big Tony was terrific, because Big Tony told us he was. What he said was, I am terrific. And because Big Tony was very big, no one said, Big Tony, you're not terrific. So, Big Tony was terrific, and Big Tony's go-kart was terrific, and that was that. When Big Tony sat on his go-kart, he looked like a real driver. He had control. When he came down a road down our way, called Moss Lane, he could make the wind blow in his hair. He could make the wheels of his car go brrrr. And he went meow as he went past. I was jealous of Big Tony. I was afraid that I thought he might be terrific. So me and Haribo, we's made a go-kart out of his old pram and some boxes and crates that we got from the off-licence. We nailed it up with bent nails, but Haribo's dad said, No, 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 no. You should use big metal staples. And he gave us some. He said they were heavy duty. Heavy duty, wow, that sounded terrific. So then we tied cord around the front cross piece. But Harry Bo's dad said, no, 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 no. You should use the pram handle. And he helped us fix the pram handle to the cross piece. He said, that'll give you control. Control, wow, that sounded terrific. Haribo sat on the beer crate and steered. I kneeled behind. But Haribo's dad said, no, 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 no. You should kneel on foam pads. And he cut these two foam pads for me to kneel on. Haribo's dad said, that'll help you last the course. Last the course. Wow, that sounded terrific. Our go-kart was ready. So we took it up to the top of Moss Lane. And Haribo said, I'll steer. And he did. And it was fantastic. It felt just like Big Tony looked. The hair in the wind, meow, the wheels, brrr, and so we went, meow. So we took it up to the top of Moss Lane again. And Haribo said, I'll steer. And he did. And it was amazing. The row went blurry. The hair in the wind, meow, the wheels, brrr, and we both went, so we took it up to the top of Moss Lane again. And Harry Bow said, I'll steer. So I said, uh, can I have a go? Harry Bow said, no. Go on, I said. No, he said, you've never done it. Go on, Harry Bow, let me have a go. Go on, I mean, blimey, come on, Harry Bow, go on. No. Oh, go on, go on, go on. All right, he said, but look out, won't you? Yeah, 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 I know, I said. I thought, I'm going to be terrific. My hair, meow, the wheels, brrr, me, meow. And away we went, hair, yeah, meow, the wheels, yeah, brrr, me, yeah, meow. But halfway down Moss Lane, there's Moss Close. And that's where the road curves. That's where Big Tony steers. Big Tony leans. Big Tony controls. Oh, I can see Moss Close coming up really fast. Steer, shouts Harry Bow. Steer, you big wally. And I yanked the pram handle. And the whole world went round once, twice, three times. And my head went rolling down the road, pulling me after it. And the go-kart came for the ride. Over and over and over until my nose and my chin and my two front teeth landed in the grit of the gutter. Haribo was crying. <coughs> I breathed in and it whistled. <coughs> there it was again. I stuck my finger on to my tooth and it was chipped. Haribo said, Oh, your chin's bleeding. And I said, well, your chin's bleeding and all. <gasps> I know, he said. We walked home. He pulled the cart, got to his place. He didn't say anything, nothing at all, not a word. And he went in. I walked onto my place. 
It was still whistling. When I got in, I told Mum everything. And she said, well, she said all kinds of things like, well, your teeth will probably fall out, you know. One of those nice things that mums say. Next day at school, they were all asking about the crash. They all looked at my tooth. They, and they looked um, and they wanted to see the go-kart. Harry Bow said, you can't because my dad's chopped it up. <gasps> chopped up. Wow. That sounded terrible. Hey. And when Haribo got his racer, his brand new racing bike, for Christmas, I didn't ask him for a go on it. I didn't. No, I didn't. I wonder why.